Yeah, another science video. So this one here looks at psyche diagrams. Now psyche diagrams are something that you will need going on to your GCSEs. So I've put it on here and you will need a pencil. Now this is an example for the starter of a psyche diagram um, using a steam plant. Okay. Now when you do go to look at this, obviously you will have fresh eyes on it as opposed to the camera angle. But there's lots of uh, different numbers, there's lots of different size arrows and essentially it is just a complicated version of what we're going to do today. So, Sankey diagrams, named after Sankey, Captain Matthew Henry Phineas Ryle Sankey, quite a long name. He was an engineer and in 1898 he was the first one to publish a diagram using the width of an arrow to show the size of an energy flow. So, using the squared paper, if you don't have squared paper, what you can do is just use the lines on your um, normal line paper as these sort of grid blocks because it's only the width of the arrow that we're concerned with. Okay, you can just freehand and draw the lines going across after. Now, if one, en one joule of energy is useful out, we're assuming nine joules of energy is wasted. Therefore, the nine joules of energy, the arrow for it should be wider. And in this case, one joule is one little block or one little column, and nine is nine worth, so it's nine times as much. And that is a Sankey diagram. What I'd like you to do before you go further with the lesson is just practice drawing this. Use a pencil, use a ruler, and like I said, if you don't have the actual grid, squared grid paper, just measure lines down that you see going down your line paper and just practice drawing this Sankey diagram so that when you go on to the trickier questions, there's also an example for an energy efficient light bulb in comparison to a filament bulb, um, you can draw these comfortably and, and get some confidence in doing them. Just while I've got this energy efficient bulb on here, if we know it's energy efficient, then less energy is going to be wasted, and in this case, less energy is wasted, and more energy is useful. Because more energy is useful, we have one, two, three, four joules, which is a wider arrow in comparison to the old filament bulb. Okay, so I would practice drawing of this one here first. And when you are confident, go on and do some tricky examples and see if you can draw your own Sankey diagrams. Now, when you go to draw your Sankey diagrams, rather than um, trying to scan loads of pages, if you could just take an image of the one that you've drawn, um, your best one and send that across to me and give you some feedback on that. Thank you. Bye.